guys, today I created this look using all drugstore products but one. It's Natural Glowy Skin. My friend Sophia asked me for a video like this because she wanted to know how to get natural glowing skin. Um, I don't know if she's going to think this is natural makeup. I don't know. We have different views on that. But if you guys like it, then please keep on watching. I'm going to show you how I prep my skin and then the makeup that I use. Hope you guys enjoy. First, I need to sip of my Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, please sponsor me when it, the time comes. Okay, guys. To start off, you want to wash your face first. And then, I like to use a serum. This is the only drugstore thing, non-drugstore thing that I'm going to use today. It's the Origins Original Skin Renewal Serum with Willow Herb. It's so good. It's supposed to help with, like, pores and everything. You can apply it in the morning and night. I love it. I think if you're going to really spend your money on anything, skincare is your go-to. But after I do my Origins Serum, I use a moisturizer. The one that I use is the Cetaphil one. And then I'm just going to put that on my skin first. Next, I don't know if it's necessarily that important, but I like to do it. I'm going to use this Ulta Beauty 24K Magic Beauty Oil. It reminded me of the first Solly one, which is however much that one is. This one's only $19.50. I'm just going to dribble it on the high points of my cheek. Down here, I get, for some reason I get really dry over here. And then just across my forehead. And I'm just going to rub that oil in. Ooh, smells interesting. Kind of smells like tea tree oil, to be honest. Anything you put on your face, you want to drag down the rest on your neck. You don't want to have a saggy neck when you're older. And then to lock that all in, I like using my Mario Badescu spray. You can use any one, any facial spray, but this is the one I prefer and I like the purple one the most. You want to let that all like sit into your skin, sink in before you put on makeup on top. Because if you just go in with makeup right now, it's not going to sit like it's wet. It's going to slip around. So you just want to wait a couple minutes, let that sit. Okay, now my face is dried down some. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Prime Primer, obviously, in Blur and Smooth. And then you'll come out. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to put it right here. I'm not going to put it on my nose since we don't need all that today. Maybe just on down the sides. Put it wherever you have larger pores and think you need it. I like to put it on my cheeks, my chin, and my forehead. Next, I'm going to use a liquid highlighter. This is the Revolution one in the color Champagne. And I'm just going to put it right here on the highest parts of my cheekbone. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm just going to rub that on there. I'm going to put a little on my chin. And a little on my forehead, right above my eyebrow arch. And then I'm going to take this Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to tap that in there. Actually, maybe use your finger, I don't know. Actually, yeah, use your fingers. It's not blending out that well with my sponge. I'm 
the one that amazingly that with your fingers. So I'm gonna do foundation. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Pro Glow. It's pretty similar to my NARS Radiant Longwear that I like to wear. You see how that just added some shine? Yeah. That's why we wanted it. And then we're going to put our foundation on. And we're going to have the highlighter is going to peek through just a little. And give us a little extra something in that area that we put it on. From underneath our foundation. And if you're going for a natural glowy skin. Using creams more over powders like creams and liquids more over powders is going to look the best because you're not going to have a bunch of powder build up on top of your face and sitting there and sometimes powder can make any texture on your face be more pronounced and we don't want that today Bring it down your neck. Use the Makeup Revolution Concealer. This one's similar to the Tarte Shape Tape, and it's only $7. You do get less in it, but you can buy probably two or three of these for the same price as one Tarte Shape Tape. So we're just going to conceal, bring it up the side of the nose because it'll be like reverse contouring your nose I got this video idea from my friend Sophia because she wanted to know how to get natural glowing skin with drugstore products so I was like I got you so now I'm just going to blend it out with my Morphe sponge Now I'm going to do my nose, what I'm going to do right here and right here because in my mirror that's where the light is hitting it the most. So I'm going to let that sit for a second and we're going to get our powder ready today to set underneath my eyes. I'm going to use the pressed powder photo focus from Wet n Wild. I have the shade warm light. But I'm going to take it on my Real Technique sponge. Since it's not as wet, I'm going to take it on the super flat side. Make sure everything under my eyes is blended and there's no creasing. There we go. Now we're going to blend out that nose. take this wet and wild angle brush and just wipe away anything under my eyes. Today I'm going to cream contour because like I said more creams less powder for a natural glowy look but you still want to set those areas where you put more on or else it's going to slide around and your makeup's going to start falling apart. I like to bring it right here Here's your ear. You want to follow this line. For me, I do have like a cheek indent right here, so it's pretty easy to follow it. But I like to bring it up just a little bit above and then bring it down into that space. Because you're going to end up wanting to blend it upwards, not down. Because if you blend it down, you're going to have very sunken in cheeks. You want super high cheekbones. I'm going to do it on the same side. Just like that. 
you can even do some around your forehead or your five head like me so we're gonna blend those out now with our morphe sponge See how quick and effortlessly this blends out? Literally just a couple of pounces with your sponge and it's already looking amazing. Mm, yes. Time to break. So after that, I'm going to take this elf duo in saint lucia i'm gonna use this because they're kind of shimmery and this really small dome brush and i'm just gonna gently set over that with the lightest hand possible So that way it doesn't go slipping and sliding around our face. That is not what we want today. Okay, now I'm going to take my, this brush, my Sony Kashuk brush. These two are pretty similar. This one's just a bit bigger. I'm going to take that down here. For my double chin. I like a more bronzy, natural, glowy skin because I feel like if you're glowing. You're in Hawaii. You want Hawaii skin. Sun-kissed, beached skin. That's what we want. That is our goal here. See, so you can kind of still see that liquid highlight underneath. And I'm just going to take a little bit more on the tip of my finger. Just like that. I put it on both sides and we're just gonna and then we're gonna tap it out. Using your finger really gives it that warmth to just be able to blend out seamlessly. I'm going to decide which blush I want. I'm going to just take the one that's in this duo also because it's shimmery and pink. And I'm just going to take it and just pounce it on the apples of your cheeks and then blend it backwards you can blend it into that highlight and your like bronzer contour whatever you want to call it and then it'll look really seamless and together okay so now i'm going to one i'm going to first spray my face with my mario badescu facial spray and then i'm going to take just a smidgen bit of this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Golden Flower Crown. It's gold, obviously. We're just going to lightly tap that spot where we put the highlighter, the liquid one. And 
then I'm gonna do my nose. I'm gonna do above the eyebrow. Um, I'm going to go in with this NYX lip liner in the shade Give Me Your Name. Slide on, slide on, stay on, definitely blah blah blah. Bed Rose. Actually just put on a Ulta Beauty juice infused lip oil over top. It's just like a lip gloss. Like, oh yeah. That is the look. Guys, so there's my natural glowy skin using all drugstore products but one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends. I don't know. Do what you want. I hope you all have a great day. Goodbye.